Hello, so I noticed this issue with Steam VR because I'm just trying to get it set up in my little scene here. And it has these two errors when you first load the scene. It says that the <coughs> SO file has no meta file, um, but it's in an immutable folder. So the fact that the asset gets ignored means that you can't actually access the file in the script. So if you were to write out Steam, it would not come up with the Steam VR, um, at least in my case. So what you have to do is in your um, package folder, so you go into your Steam VR folder in your assets folder, and then find the open VR Unity XR package folder and then go into editor. And inside of there, you're probably not going to see this uh, package here. But if you do, delete it. And what you're going to do is you're going to need um, 7-zip and you're going to need WinRAR. Um, WinRAR is just useful for verifying that you did it correctly. Um, so you're going to look at the TGZ file right here. And the reason that we are looking at this is because in the manifest, it requires for OpenVR to use this file and unzip it. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this file. So we're going to use 7-zip and extract here. Or we'll just extract, yeah, we'll extract here. And then you'll end up with a package folder. I think I did it wrong now. Let me just delete that. That is not it. It's dot tar. Okay, we want the TGZ. So extract here. <laughs> Maybe. need this one. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Use WinRAR to extract it. And inside of the package folder, go to runtime. We're basically going to the exact location that it's telling us about. And go to x86 and you're going to see that these two files here are um, missing their meta files. So you can see all these have matching meta files, but these for some reason don't. And this is currently an issue on the GitHub. Um, so if you're curious about that, you can track it. And then you're going to want to go to guigenerator.com and you're going to generate some GUIDs. So we want two GUIDs. And it's just going to give it to us. Make sure hyphens is unchecked. We don't want the hyphens. And I'm just going to copy this meta file and paste it. And then I'm going to name it the exact same as this one right here. And I'm just going to leave that dot meta on there. And then I'm going to open that in my um, script editor and I'm going to take my GUID and I'm going to copy it over the GUID in this file. And I'll just close that because it's saved and we're going to do it again for the dbg file. So let's just grab this name Oops. and paste that open it up 
and we'll grab our second GUID. Save that. And then that should be all we need to do inside of the folder. So just make sure that you have both of the meta files that you just created. And then we're going to get out of this folder all the way back to the, uh, the editor folder again. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our package and we're going to use 7-zip to add to archive. We're going to choose tar and hit OK. And then we've got package.tar. And then we're going to choose 7-zip again on that uh, package.tar. We're going to right click that 7-zip and we're going to add to archive again. And instead of tar, choose gzip and hit OK. And it's going to give you .tar.gz. And this is actually the exact same as a tgz file. So what we can do is rename this to .tgz. And yes. And that will change to .tgz. And we can verify that this is correct by right clicking and open with WinRAR. And it should just show you the package folder. It should not show you a zipped folder there. And up here, it'll say tar plus gzip archive. So now what I did is I, I just saved these for myself. So don't, don't worry about those. You won't have those files. But the original files, um, I'm just going to rename those to old just so I have access to this if I mess up. And I'm going to leave the meta file there because that's just the file we need. And I'm actually going to copy the original name and paste it over our TGZ. I'm also going to delete that tar file. Just paste our original name. And then delete the package folder. And that should be everything fixed. And you can see it did not go up by any. And just to verify, I'm going to close Unity, open it up again. And it's going to reinitialize the packages because it's going to detect that something changed. And there you go no more errors. Hope this was helpful for you. Have a good day.